We play. We fight. We conquer. Welcome to the Freak Show. I am your host, Bumpy McSquiggums, and today, ladies and gentlemen, we get to start up our Adventurer Guild in earnest this time. A uh, big shout out and a thank you to the developer for hooking me up with the code for this after I covered the demo. Um, they got in contact with me and they sent me the game. So here we are upon release. I really enjoyed my time last time playing and I'm excited to jump in and begin again. So it's Our Adventurer Guild by Green Guy, released today, April 12th, 2024, day before my birthday. And yeah, it's fully out of early access and demos and things of that nature. It's time to play it for realsies. All right, so pretty excited. Let's uh, let's begin. Uh, normal difficulty. I'm not going to do Iron Man this time around because I want to make sure if I end up having to corrupt a file. It very rarely ever happens. I honestly could probably do Iron Man like 98% of the time, but that 2%, it has happened to me before. I don't want to run the risk. So, And I've also done dumb things like deleted an episode before. So, in the interest of me not doing stupid stuff, we're going to not use Iron Man mode. <clears throat> Dear friend, it has been a long time, hasn't it? I always thought about writing to you, but I have never found the courage to do so. How ironic that my very first letter to you would also be my last, because by the time you receive this first letter, I will already be dead. Friend, I have a favor I want to ask of you. It's about uh, the Adventurer Guild. It has been difficult the last couple of years. I have to admit in shame that we have been struggling, and I'm afraid of what will become of the Guild now that I am gone. I fear that without the right leadership, it will cease to exist. That is why I want you to become the new guildmaster. I know it might be selfish of me to ask this from you, but I ask as your friend, as someone who considered you family. Please don't let our dream die. Former guildmaster of the Adventurer Guild and your old friend, Fran. All right. Did you know that you can specify a path? A specific path while moving adventurers on the battle map? Hold control during the move action to set waypoints. Good, good. Hopefully I remember that. Look at this. Look at this. Sorry. Uh, it shouldn't be much further from here. If we follow the road, we should be arriving at the guild in no time. That's good to hear. This journey has been exhausting. You got us lost several times, and we had to pretty much run from every encounter we came across. Honestly, I'm surprised that we even survived this far. Uh, yeah. Sorry about that, Guildmaster. Uh, we, we haven't been adventurers for long. Guildmaster. It's still weird hearing that. I guess we didn't really show our best side so far, did we? No. No, you didn't. Jeez, we really made a bad first impression to our future boss. Time to butter up. I, I know we haven't been that great so far, but we're still young and learning. I'm sure we'll improve in no time under your leadership. Especially when you're such a handsome... Uh, uh, I mean, a pretty... Good-looking good person. Thank you, I guess. What was that stutter just now? I just noticed I can't tell if our guildmaster is a man or a woman. The beard should be a, a giveaway. I know I said this before. Still, this is this is a funny interaction. I like it. W what are you talking about? Of course it's a... Uh, uh, um, see? You can't tell either, right? I have an idea. Guildmaster, I noticed we never called you by your name. Uh, I kind of feel bad about it. Uh, it makes everything so formal. <clears throat> Technically, I'm your boss, so that seems just right. Uh, yes, yeah, so, uh, of course. But it just doesn't seem right if we don't at least know your name. So, uh, could you tell us? My name is the man, the myth, the legend, Bumpy McSquee. Um, no, that's too long of a name. I could just go with Bob again. Bob Bob is a great name. But let's go with, um... Let's see here. I, I got nothing. I got I'm just gonna go with Bumpy. It's fine. 
I guess there's no harm in that. It's bumpy. Bumpy. Ah, I see. Of course, of course. Still can't tell, can you? No. Uh, you think it'd be awkward to ask now? What do you think? Well, now let's just keep rolling with it and avoid the use of pronouns. <clears throat> if you're done whispering, I have a suggestion to make. As you said, you're still capable of learning, but I do want to reach the guild in one piece, so here's my suggestion. The remainder of the journey let me take charge. I used to be an adventurer for more than half my life, and I'm sure that I can bring the best out of you. I don't think any of us would have any issues with that. Good, then follow me. Uh, so, what were their names again? Pretty sure they told me. Also pretty sure they told me their life stories and traits, which is kind of weird to tell a stranger. Maybe I'll find that info on their character pages. Dun dun dun! All right, to move the on the quest map, West Got it all over it. I know what's going on, probably. Character pages. We got the rank of Copper. The class Defender. We have the class Mage. We have the class Rouge. No, it's Rogue. All right. Boop, boop, boo -doo, boo -doo, boo -doo, boo -doo. No, ow, you hit me. I don't like it. Or maybe I do. I don't know. I don't even remember. It's battle time. Oh, no. Bandits. No need to panic. Bandits really shouldn't scare you. They're like introductory enemies for in adventurers. Why don't you come here and say that to my axe? Oh, they look pissed now. <clears throat> Killed, master. No worries. I still think you could take them on. Let them come to you first and try to use the environment to your advantage. Battle! And battles in our Adventurer Guild are turn-based. Like all good battles should be. Well, it, it's, I enjoy turn-based games. Uh, every round, characters get a turn to act. The order, one, depends on their initiative value, plus a random number between zero and ten. The higher the outcome, the earlier the character can act. Okay. On their turn, characters have a number of action points, AP 2, to spend on actions 3. You know what? We're fine. We did all this before. We got slayed. Alright, so... Does it go from top to bottom? No, it goes bottom. It goes, it goes down. Alright. Aha! They never expect me! Uh, I guess we end our turn? You don't really have a ranged attack, do you? I mean, a little bit with the throw knife. All right. So it tells us right here. Even though I've kind of hovered over it. Increase range by range skills by one and accuracy by ten for anyone standing on the tile. I don't think we can throw that far, but close. The bandit grunt came forward. Oh no, we're gonna get shot. Good dodge. Do not worry. I've got this. Do you have anything that doesn't use SP? Magic Missile. Right. I shall pew pew you with a little tiny bit of uh, damage. That, that's, that's basically it. Alright, it's my time to shine. And shine I shall. Huh, well that was fun. I should probably run now. Okay, that works for me. Do we have anything that's an AoE? Not really. Does that kill him? I can't tell. How much health do you have? 11. Okay, so it's got the potential to kill him. That's not going to do anything. That's 10 to 12. That's 9 to 13. It's 9 to 13. That's 7 to 9. So we definitely don't want to go 7 to 9. I guess we'll try the like fireball meteor thing. Yeah, we did it. Ah, run away. 
Aha, I took the high ground, you fools! Ow, I should have known. Aha, I am up on top of you now. Ba 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 body slam slam slam. I missed. That's that's a little awkward. All right, I suppose I'll block. Yeah. I have the high. You know, what? I'm just gonna kind of just want to step to you. But well, that's okay. We'll, we'll, we'll take the high ground. Apparently it drained all of them. I can cancel that. Eh, let's try this. I don't know if we get like a, an attack of opportunity or... Okay, that, that seems fine. You, sir, shall take a little tiny bit of uh, damage. <laughs> And then our final adventurer steps over and super knife slash go. There it is. Very cool. I like it a lot. We did it. We're heroes. Well, probably not, but we're, we're we did it anyway. Stolen goods. Take all and continue. Yeah. There will be times when you have to do an attribute check. To succeed, you have to roll a number ranging from 1 to 20. If you roll the number combined with the modifier is greater or equal to the difficulty, you have managed to succeed the check. In some cases, failing the roll will have negative consequences on the party. If you fail the roll, you have the option to spend your bravery points on a reroll, but be careful. There are also, or There will also be consequences when an adventurer runs too low on bravery points. And finally, you can sometimes circumvent certain rolls by carrying the right items with you, like shovels to remove obstacles or keys to open chests. Can I, um, loot the grass? No. Alright, we could use a shovel. Or we can remove by hand with our super powerful strength, which is, uh, not probably great. That's right, our, our rogue, for whatever reason, has more strength than our other folk. Alright, let's hope we roll high. We did. We rolled plenty. All right. I accept this. Okay. Talk to me about gathering up stuff. Wait. This place here is full of resources that we can collect. Collecting resources is an important part of adventuring. We can use them to make our own potions and equipment. So try to always collect all the resources if possible. Sometimes you might not have enough space in your inventory. So try to prioritize what to bring back with you. That's fair. That is a valid point. The shrooms are ours. I shall break apart the wood. And I shall devour it with my termite-like teeth. What? I don't know. Just all of the the bounty of nature coming our way. Oh no, it's a pig. It's a big angry pig. And the horny wolf combo. Horn horned wolf combo, maybe? Damn it. Now we're getting attacked by wild monsters. Beware of that dire wolf. It's a quick fellow, and I reckon that your level at your level you will have a hard time hitting it. Do you have any tips? I do. Believe in yourself. Um any other tips? I'm being serious. I've seen you fight. You're all stronger than you think you are. R really? Yes. I've hardly seen anyone as talented as you lot. Now go out there. I'm sure you'll be able to defeat those monsters. Y yes, Guildmaster. We will not disappoint you. <laughs> I really bought that? This whole Guildmaster thing is going to be much easier than I thought. Bravery in battle. Sometimes you'll find yourself in a situation which seems bit unfavorable to your adventurers but by taking advantage of the bravery system your adventurers can easily turn the tide of battle in key moments each adventurer has an amount of bravery points bp uh which is down here uh which can be used to 
basically get powerful temporary buffs. Nice. But be careful while spending your BP. Having too little BP gives minor debuffs to the adventurer and risks them getting the shaken status when they reach zero BP. Meanwhile, having high BP gives your adventurers minor buffs. Always consider the trade-off when using BP. There are several ways to gain BP, defeating an enemy, landing a crit, or getting encouragement from allies with close relations. Likewise, BP can be lost by getting too hurt or, or having allies die. High bravery adventurers gain BP faster than low bravery adventurers. I like it, probably. Alright, this is an accuracy buff. It's useful. All right, I suppose I'll move here. How far can I throw? Not that far. All right, got it. I guess I shield up. Might not even get attacked yet. Maybe I don't shield up. Oh, wait. Okay, yep. Oh, we blocked it though. We're amazing. We're half man, half amazing at this point. All right, I'm gonna go for... What? Oh, you could chain. Five percent, eighty-eight. Oh, I'll just do it. And with that fire. Okay. Oops. Uh, okay. Cool, cool, cool. Bite. Ouch. How dare you? I resisted the bleed at least. That's a good sign. All right. Artery strike. Got the sneak attack, and I got bleeding on him. Okay, we'll take it. How do I how do I interact with that? Is that not a thing I can do? Ah, that's how I do it. All right, nice. I mean, I can't do anything else, though, so <laughs> there is that. Oh, I was hoping that was hoping the pigo would bleed a bit more. All right, I'm going to go for the stun. I suppose that's fine. Seriously? Take the pig out, come around here, that's fine. Let's, uh, let's move maybe here? I don't know if like, we can freeze him or what. We can do some damage though. That's fine. Alright, should be the new turn. And we should be able to acquire some more healing because we're amazing. Stuff and junk. And we'll take him down with some magic missile action. Victory! We did well. We got ourselves a boar liver, a wolf spleen, and a little bit of monster blood. Yeah, you know, which is definitely the most delicious part of the monsters. Good work, everyone. At this point, you're all probably exhausted. We should camp now to get you some rest. 
It is important to always know when to take a break and recover. Campaign tutorial. Traveling around the quest map and finding enemies is an exhausting task for your adventurers. If the stamina bar gets depleted, your adventurers will be in an exhausted state. Okay. Making them less combat efficient. To recover their strength, you have to set up camp. Makes sense. While camping, adventurers have to consume supplies to heal. The amount of supplies needed depends on the number of adventurers and their traits. So do plan accordingly. During camp mode, adventurers can perform actions to heal or buff the party. However, the actions are limited by the amount of camping points available to them. Different classes have different camping actions to choose from. I mean, I don't know that we necessarily need to do that. Where is this? Is this our overall stamina? Yes, yes it is. All right. I mean, we're not at low stamina yet, but we should probably still camp. So let's do that. Uh, we're going to cover some stuff. How much do we... We have six supplies remaining. Yeah, why not? Select a character to perform an action. Gains 30% more physical resistance for three encounters. Adventurer performs first aid on a wounded party member. And we get four camp action points. Purge another one to restore BP. Eh, that's fine. I think I'm going to go ahead and throw a heal. Character starts to meditate to recover more mana. It's not necessarily a bad thing. Just the chance of ambush. And then what else? Encourage. Yeah, let's get some more mana. Alright, I like it. Let's rest it up. Has anyone seen my sandwich? I left it here somewhere. No, no. Oh, you mean this one? Didn't know this was yours. No, no, no. You just gained an enemy for life, Hazel. <laughs> uh, anyone want breakfast? I want my sandwich back. You stole my sandwich. Uh-oh. Damn. There are even more bandits ahead, and they're blocking the road. Does that mean we have to fight our way through? Not necessarily. Not everything has to end in a fight. We might have other options, depending on the situation. Let's see what we can do. What's up? Press any key to continue. Ahead of the adventurers were a group of bandits blocking the road. It seemed like they were waiting for their next group of victims. The adventurers could see that the bandits slightly outnumbered them. A fight was therefore not in their best interest. The party remembered that what their guildmaster said to them and started to think about alternative ways to get past them, or alternate ways. We could try to intimidate the bandits to let the party through. We could have one of them try to lure the bandits away. We could pretend to be bandits. We could attack... Let's pretend to be bandits. I like it. Roll! We did it. Norwin put forth the idea that you could masquerade as bandits yourself and attempt to negotiate their way through. Since adventurers were often mistaken for bandits, there was a chance they could pull this off. After all, bandits wouldn't just rob other bandits, would they? I mean, maybe. Guildmaster shared their reservations, but the rest of the party seemed willing to give the plan a try. Together, they brazenly walked toward the bandits, their movements purposefully rough and sketchy. At first, the bandits seemed wary of the approaching group, but Norwin quickly diffused the tension by claiming they, too, were banditos. Norwin played the role of a seasoned bandit rather convincingly and started to rant about the difficulties of their chosen lifestyle. To the Guildmaster's surprise, the bandits readily agreed and shared their own complaints. Norwin lightened the mood with a clever quip, and they all erupted into laughter. At one point during their conversation, emotions began to run high, and everyone started crying for some inexplicable reason. One of the bandits spoke about his ailing grandmother, while another listed off names of his twelve starving children. Norwin, in turn, began to recount a sorrowful tale about his disapproving parents, leaving the guildmaster uncertain as to whether anything he said was actually true. 
The bandits and adventurers bid each other farewell and were allowed to pass. They, As they parted ways, Norlin reassured the bandits that they were all capable of overcoming any obstacle in life, which moved the bandits to tears. Observing the emotional scene, the guildmaster remained silent, wondering if they had possibly hallucinated the encounter due to a head injury. The following adventures gained 3 SP. Okay, I like that. 50 uh, experience gained. There's some treasure loot. Let's lockpick it up. Uh, lockpick. Give me that high number. I'll take it. Just barely, but we got it. She got 100 experience points. We ended up getting a minor a Dota J ring, which is very nice. Confirm. Then we'll go into our inventory and we'll give the ring to our brutish brute of brutitivity. It's fine. All right, and wooden dummy, go! Finally, the group reached their destination. In front of them stood a giant fortress, an abandoned, an old abandoned Empyrean fortress that had been claimed by the Adventurer Guild several years ago. It now acts as a base of operation for the Adventurer Guild. In front of the fortress stands an old familiar face. Was complete. Yes, I love. I love the 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 music, like the ah, you did something great. Ah, I love that. That's that's so good. I hope it's the same thing when we level up, same type of thing. Like, da -da -da. like I, just, I, I don't know. I always enjoy that. To me, completing a quest, leveling up, doing stuff should be a big deal. And the more big deal it's made, like fireworks going off, like dragons flying across the screen, whatever. I'm here for it. I'm 100% here for it every single time. All right, we completed the quest. And we're going to go back to the guild now. All the stuff we picked up were incredible. We're the best adventurers ever. Oh, oh. We fell just short. Hazel's uh, pretty close, though. Every party can only have a maximum of six members. Choose your members wisely so that they can deal with any situation. All right. We're going to talk with Fiola. Uh, she's definitely a big fan of ours. Uh, we'll probably go until we get to a point where we can save the game, which is more or less we're basically we're recapping what we did in the first look video that we did. So every episode after this should be a bunch of new stuff constantly. At least that's the, the plan anyway. Uh, oh, great. That's her. This is Fiola, my friend's wife. She and I have an agreement. I can't stand her. She can't stand me. So you really came back, Bumpy. Ah, uh, Fiola, I see you're still here. I was sure by now that you'd already be back in your swamp hut brewing some children in an iron cauldron. Charming as ever, I see. <clears throat> I guess the only thing that grew older is your exterior. Still can't believe that you'll become the new guildmaster. What was my husband thinking? It's like a nightmare. You can help me get rid of mine by going back to the underworld you call home. And just leave the guild, which my husband spent his life to raise to somebody who I'm sure has done nothing worthwhile in the last 10 years. I feel targeted. Like, I've been doing YouTube content for 10 years. I feel like that was a direct jab at me. Maybe I'm wrong. Anyway, I think not. <clears throat> you want to go? Bleep! Try me. Whoa, whoa there, you two. Whoa, whoa. We're here to greet the new guildmaster, not to start a fight. Uh, and who are you? Hello, guildmaster. I'm Falcon, one of the instructors of the Adventuring Guild. I was asked by Fiola to accompany her in this meeting, saying that it would be troublesome if the two of you were left alone. But I didn't quite expect this. Bumpy and I share a history. Bumpy was a friend of my late husband, but the two of us never saw eye to eye. I was too afraid that your gaze would turn me to stone. Fair. And wouldn't that be wonderful? Besides, of course, from the ugly statue that would spoil the landscape. Uh, guys, no need to underline your uh, relationship before me. I, I, I Don't we actually have more important matters to discuss? I don't think we should... <clears throat> now, for example, welcoming the Guildmaster of the Adventurer's Guild. Congratulations! Uh, although I have to admit that this won't be an easy position to be in. Rand's letter is slightly hinted at it. How bad is it? Well, I don't know how much you've heard, but the Adventurer Guild has been going downhill for some time now. 
We lost most of our reputation and contacts. All of our seasoned adventurers have left us, and there's not much gold left to keep the guild going. Honestly, it's a mess. That does sound bad. Well, that's why you're here. The former guildmaster was certain that you can bring the adventurer guild back on its feet. Uh, all right, well, where do we start? My suggestion would be to start recruiting new adventurers. Makes sense. You can usually find them in the tavern. How about we pay it a visit right now? Uh, we'll pay it a visit soon. We're not going to pay it a visit right now. We'll pay it a visit next time. Anyway, guys and gals, ladies and gentlemen, that is going to do it for our very first episode. Looks like we'll still do some more stuff that we've already seen. But, yeah, next episode we should see some new stuff. Anyway, very cool. Uh, I really like this game. I'm super happy that uh, the developer reached out and sent the code my way because I really, really wanted to play this. So this is fantastic. Uh, congratulations on releasing the game. If you folks want more information about the game, where to get the game, information on the developer, all that stuff down below in the description of the video. Just like always, like and subscribe, guys and gals. It helps a lot. And folks just don't do it, apparently. Uh, like over 80% of people don't do it, which is terrible. <laughs> Let's try to change that if we can. And yeah, till the very next episode, folks. I've been your host, Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you so much for stopping by The Freak Show. We play, we fight, we conquer.